what happens behind the scenes when you go online? When you go online, you are asked to trade your attention and personal data in exchange for free access to valuable services and content. Online presence and derived data are two fundamental concepts that can help you take control of your online actions. The building blocks of online presence are your digital identity, such as your name and IP address, your digital persona, the content and social behavior that you share with your network, and your digital footprint, such as cookies and your browsing history. Derived data is the aggregation and analysis of your online presence and the creation of a profile that can be used by third parties without your knowledge. A recent study found that privacy and security concerns have stopped 45% of online households in the US from engaging in online activities such as conducting financial transactions, buying goods or services, posting on social networks or expressing opinions on controversial issues. The top reason why respondents are uncomfortable with their activities being tracked is that their data is being shared with third parties without their knowledge or permission. Increasing levels of digital media literacy is one path to create a more positive online environment. Fully employed professionals and people with university degrees are seen as having the highest levels of digital media literacy. Over 70% understand the concept of online presence, and nearly 60% claim sufficient knowledge of the data that make up their digital footprint. However, digital media literacy lags across the globe. 50% of the populations of the United States, Brazil, Germany, South Africa, China and Egypt do not understand the basics of digital media literacy. 32% of respondents don't know what online presence is and just 53% understand the concept of derived data. Common tools such as ad blocking, tracking browser add-ons and VPNs are only understood by 16% of respondents. Here are three examples of effective solutions to digital media literacy gaps. 1. Uruguay was the first country in the world to provide all primary schools with free laptops and no-cost internet access. Results include increased self-esteem in students and more active participation by parents. 2. Google recently developed My Account, a free tool that enhances understanding of online presence and increased control over what data is collected and shared. 3. The NGO Infolution Zero has developed a public-private partnership promoting digital citizenship for children, youth and parents, targeting cyberspace predators and bullies, abusive language and technology addiction. These are just some examples showing how important it is to create a dialogue between business, government and end users to lay the foundations for a global online society based on fairness, transparency and trust.